Hey, it's Kale Chronister. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe, or if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and hit the bell. I'm dropping out new content every day. So much value, I want you guys to be able to change on a daily basis. I want you to change your mindset. I want you to get to the next level in your journey and where you're at to, to the point where you're just like seeing so much success and life is looking so great and it's looking wonderful, right? So every day I'm putting out content to bring you so much value. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, value, right? We're gonna talk about it in a light that most people don't see it. So value is directly correlated to how much money you make. So if you look at it as steps, let's say somebody's working at McDonald's. If somebody's working at McDonald's, how much value is that person providing? They're feeding people, which is pretty valuable. Is it top quality food? You know, not the best. What kind of experience is that providing? Um, you know, it's, it's fast if people want to eat food really quick. Let's go to the other end of the spectrum, which would be, you know, it could be a multitude of things, but we're, gonna, we're just gonna say business owner. Now, how much, how much value is a business owner providing? Now, a business owner is providing, if they scale their business, they have employees, so they're now feeding a family and providing for that family. Um, that's pretty valuable. Um, they're also making clients happy based on the services that they're providing. So that, that's pretty valuable. Now, granted, if the business wasn't there, these clients would probably go somewhere else, right? But all your clients that you have, if you're a business owner, are very happy with you because you're providing a lot of value. Um, so let me share an experience with you today that happened to me in my business. So today I showed up to a client, it was like a $325 client. Uh, I think it was like 25 windows or something like that. And I could have just rushed through this job. I could have just cleaned the windows real quick, you know, barely made any conversation and just collect the money and go. And I feel like as um, employees, we kind of feel like that's just what we want to do, right? We want to rush through the day, not really, you know, focus on quality or just, I just want to get in and get out and make my money. Um, which in essence doesn't provide a lot of value, which means you're probably not making that much money. Now think if you were an employee, right? And you wanted to have more value, provide more value to make more money. So what if you thought of ways to make the business run a little quicker, a little, a little quicker, a little better, or propose a way for the business to make more money. Now in the business owner's eyes or the manager's eyes, you are more valuable than just a regular employee, right? So you could get compensated for the ideas that you have or move up into your company. Or what you can do is if that doesn't work, you can always just switch companies to something that's providing a lot more value. If you switch to a profession that has a lot more value, you're gonna make a lot more money, right? So back to my story, of my what happened today it's like i made conversation with the client right like we're like talking like we're best friends and then, you know i'm going through this person's house cleaning their windows just having wonderful conversations you know that's the best thing i like about my business is i can just meet so many kinds of different people and just you know from all walks of life it's fantastic so i'm going in clean the bathroom or i'm actually putting uh, some soap on my soaker in the bathroom right clean the mirror. And I was like, Hey, just want to let you know, I was in the bathroom, clean the mirror for you. Don't even worry about it. I was already in there. I figured I'd do it. How much value is that providing? The person's like, Oh, wow. Thank you. You know? And it's like value, you know, and it's like making somebody feel comfortable in their home value, you know, doing extra things that you would normally do, taking your time and not rushing through a job value, you know, making the, making the homeowner feel comfortable in their home value. And it's just like little things over and over again. I mean, compounding, right? So I got done this job and I think it was like a $350 job. $350 job, it was like 25 windows. It took a couple hours, um, but he gave me a $120 tip. So in my head, I'm like, why did he give me a $120 tip? Why didn't he just give me a $20 tip? And it's because of the experience I'm providing. The experience and the value that I'm providing him. So I'm pushing out value, pushing out value. So I'm getting value in return. You see how that works? And to go along with this, there's this guy on YouTube that I follow. I can't remember what his name is, but he makes like $125,000 a week, which blows my mind. And I'm just constantly learning from this guy because, you know, he's just successful at what he does. And he says, every time he goes to, he goes out to eat, 
he tips 100%. So he goes to his favorite restaurant, right? He spends $120 or whatever he spends. He tips $120 or whatever he spends. Now, what is that doing, right? It's providing so much value, 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 value. And it's like, we don't think it, about it in this way where if you provide value, you get value. So because this guy's tipping 100% of what he's eating, every time he goes into his favorite restaurant, guess what? He's the first one to sit down. Whenever he orders a glass of wine or whatever he drinks, he doesn't get a glass of wine. He gets the whole bottle, you know? Whenever he's done, he gets free dessert. It's all that stuff that's because he's providing so much value and he's getting that value back in return, right? And we don't think of that value is perceived as how much money you make or value perceived as how much value you make or value you get. And I feel like if we shift this mindset from if the amount of money we make if there, um, is directly correlated to the value that we have, then it's like, okay, it's starting to make sense. So if I have my own business, all I have to do is provide more value. How can I provide more value to make the experience better? If I'm working for a company, how can I provide more value to the company to make more money or make the experience better? You know, if you're having customers come to you and they're like, oh, you know, I just love this person. You know, they're doing such a good job. That's going to eventually get to the manager and they're like, oh, wow, this guy's really good. Maybe we'll bump him up and make him more money. See how that works. And if you can't make more money, you can't move up, then you just switch to something where you're providing more value. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to end the video there, but it's just like value produces value. So the more value you produce, the more money you're going to make. And it, it's, it's crazy because once again, nobody, nobody talks about this stuff, but I'm here to bring that value to you to help you guys get to the next level, to get to where you want to be in your journey and to provide as much value to you guys. And that's why I do this, you know, to provide value. You know, I've spent 10 years learning this and it's crazy where my life has gone. Like, like I said before, you know, I used to sit in stairwells and not be able to communicate with people. I thought confidence was something you were born with. I didn't know how to speak to people. I didn't know how to communicate. I didn't know how to communicate. Do you know how crazy that is? I used to sit in stairwells and eat lunch by myself. <laughs> That's nuts, nuts. Because my, what kind of value was I providing, right? the lowest value of value. I couldn't even communicate with somebody. So what, I, there was no value. There was no value, right? But as soon as I grow my mindset, start working on myself, I slowly am able to provide more value because I'm working on myself. I'm growing my mindset. I'm taking it to the next level, right? And now here, here's where I am, business owner, right? Coming from the least amount of value possible as a person to business owner. And it's all because I decided to work on my mindset, decided to listen to people that were being successful and change my perspective, change the way I look at life. That's it. So I spent 10 years learning a personal development and here I am sharing it with you guys, providing value for free, giving you all my, all my insights and everything I've learned over the years for free. So let's go, let's take it to the next level. Let's go on your journey, right? You know, comment down below. Let me know where you're at, where you want to go, how you want to get there. You know, if there's anything I can help you out, let me know. Reach out. I'm here for you guys. Um, but with that, you know, have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. Have a great month. Have a great life because you're supposed to enjoy it, right? All right. See you guys later.